Sagittarius, Sagittarius. A Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ooh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. A Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ow, what's up, Saggy? What's going on in the life of Sagittarius between the first and fifteenth of October? Wish pop. What's going on? Y'all want some king queen shit? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all letting that shit go? Are we communicating and working out shit? Working on shit? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time you're on my channel. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say. Um. All my new subscribers, welcome to the family. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss. We love, we uplift, we enlighten, we evolve, we grow. That's what it's about. Positive shit only. We family up in here, okay? So we don't do the negative shit. Mocha don't play that shit, all right? So we rocking. This will be from the 1st to the 15th of October between for the, my sun, moon, rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Sagittarius. This is a general. It's not personal. If you need a personal, that information can be found. You, you heard my little bougie toast now. Below, okay? I had to, <laughs> had to get a little boulagetto, okay? We're going to get it. So, um, Sag, uh, for the most part, y'all, we looking real good. For you little flu for you little bloopers up in here. <laughs> but we finna rock it. Y'all wish my lighting could have been better. It sucks. Can't do nothing about it. I do not work at Burger King. So you may not always be able to have it your damn way. Okay? But that doesn't mean I love you any less. So let's rock out. Right, so Sage, I do feel during this time, I feel that you guys are um <laughs> You guys are really being reflective during this time. You in a state in the sense of I knew everything. You know, I feel like you're looking at yourself different. You're looking at yourself and you you you're literally falling in love with yourself. You're seeing the beauty in self. How far you've come, how far you've grown, how much these obstacles really made you a beast for real, you know? A lot of y'all have an air sign, strong air energy. Gemini Libra Aquarius, a lot of y'all are having conversations, okay, that are well-needed conversations in order to move forward and lay solid foundations and work on something, okay, that you really give a damn about. I strongly feel that some of y'all actually want, during this time, something will be coming into fruition with an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, but you need to communicate how you truly feel both people, okay? You guys have to be willing to come out of this cold state or feeling like you're afraid to be vulnerable. Okay, I do see some of you all could possibly be working it out with an earth sign. Okay, you're, you're wanting to plant the seeds. Okay, to see to see it grow. You want to see the fruits of your labor. Okay, and during this time, you actually may begin to ease on down. Mm. Ease on down. Mm. Ease on down. <laughs> Fruition road. OK, so I do see <laughs> some of y'all are going to be very happy. OK, we're moving forward with the Taurus, Virgo Capricorn, strong emphasis on Taurus. You actually want to offer this person a solid commitment. OK, or you could be possibly receiving a higher level of commitment. Some of y'all got a Taurus that wants to put a ring on it. And I feel like with y'all, you and this person are both financially looking real good during this time. And so you do have two people willing to put in the work, you know, towards a common goal of stability. Good shit, y'all. Some of y'all are also wanting to make a solid foundation, or I mean solid foundation, a solid um, tangible offer possibly to a fire sign or them to you. Another Aries Leo Sag. I feel like, y'all, the fact that I got the king and queen of pentacles in this reading, the fact that I have the king and queen of wands, I feel a strong emphasis here y'all there's a lot of passion as well as stability in this union some of you could definitely be connecting with another fire sign aries leo sag earth sign taurus capricorn virgo during this time some of you all are wanting to offer love offer your love okay possibly to a water sign as well um cancer pisces scorpio you look at this person as your soulmate 
I feel like in the past finances could have been an issue. Now you're looking good, okay? You actually have done some work with yourself as far as inner work, and you really to, now you're ready to make a solid offer or to be receiving to one. I feel like some of y'all is definitely a cancer, okay? Some of you all want to move forward, and you waiting on a cancer to move forward towards you. For some of you all, you want to move forward towards um, a soulmate relationship. This person could also be a Scorpio. Or Pisces, but I feel like for some of you all, you're kind, you're wanting to move past, a move out of a period of feeling like, you know, pretty much feeling like you're just waiting on somebody's shit to fall out the bag. Okay, you're getting out of a period of looking at things negatively, or for that matter, manifesting negative things by the way that you're thinking, or the way, or, or, or how you're communicating, or for that matter, what the hell you're not communicating. Because I feel like for some of you all. If you were dealing with the Scorpio or Pisces, you feel like this person could have possibly been using you for money or you feel like you give, give, give to this person. The only thing they freaking do is take. And it makes you feel used. It makes you feel, you know, rejected. Some of you guys have a Pisces. You're going to find out that this person could possibly be um, in a soulmate relationship. Okay. I feel like you kind of internally conflicted because it's hard for you to let this person go. But I feel like you have a knowing that you're going to give more in a relationship, okay, during, I mean, than this person. This person could have given more than you in the past or you get, you, you've given so much to this person in the past to only get out secrets. And I see going forward, some of y'all got this person coming back and it's going to be the same energy, strong Scorpio um, and Pisces energy. I feel like this person always has a way of making you feel internally conflicted. You feel left out. You feel abandoned for some of you all. I feel like some of you guys have a Gemini Libra Aquarius in your energy, and I feel like this person keeps their feelings very close to the chest. They really don't communicate how they feel with you. It's easier for them to leave or leave you feeling like, you know, <laughs> you're left out of something, okay? I feel like some of you all could have possibly had, you could be communicating possibly a situation from the past. It could be seven months ago, seven years ago seven weeks ago, but I feel like some of you all was dealing with air, fire, or earth, and I feel like you're wanting to take the leap of faith, okay, towards um, towards someone, and you want to communicate, you know, why you left, okay, or this person wants to do this to you, but I feel like you're kind of internally conflicted, like the, the want is there to do it, you know, but your body have yet to follow to go do that shit. For some of you all, okay? And spirit is kind of pushing you towards gravitating towards that situation to really put the work in, y'all, and to communicate. Because for some of y'all, this is what you need, baby, to rise out the ashes, okay? To rise out the ashes as the phoenix that you are. For some of you all, some of you all could be healing father issues or healing issues with um, a, 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 a child's father or your father or a father figure, you know, you could be the father. But I feel like this healing is going to bring a sense of abundance. But some of you all is going to bring actual tangible, tangible abundance. Some of you all need to have conversations to remove blockages. And it has to do with fate, destiny, infinite. Um, I feel like for some of you all, you're going to have a towel moment this month. It could possibly uh, be around a Scorpio or a fire sign, Aries, Phil, Sag. For some of y'all, it's around a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you, um, this is really going to put you in a reflective state. It's really going to put you in a space of really knowing what it is that you want, you know, really devising a plan on how it is that you want to go about getting what you want through this healing, through this releasing of the damn burdens. For some of you, you've been holding on to an air sign. I feel like some of y'all, you had an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person communicates very, very, very stern-like. However, they don't communicate what the hell they be doing. They just communicate your business to you about what the hell they think you should be doing better. Some of y'all, Possibly to leap a face towards the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, for this person to possibly make you feel abandoned or walk away from you again. Okay, for some of y'all, you're going to cut this person off. That is a time moment. You're going to cut this person off because this person came in for one thing. Some of y'all want to have, some of y'all going to be having a one night stand with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? 
And I feel like some of y'all just want to focus on your money during this time. Money is looking real good, Sag. For those of you who are waiting on a job offer, you're going to get them jobs this month between the 1st and 15th. You're going to get them. You're going to get them jobs, honey. You're going to get that money, honey. Those of you who are working on expanding your business, baby, get out your thoughts. Get out of that mindset of lack of what you don't have. Okay? But some of you all, you in your damn head about Aquarius who possibly could have actually been juggling you in the past. Or this person is just very, very indecisive. Maybe you was juggling this person, an Aquarius and an Earth sign. I feel like one of these people, there's going to be truth and clarity about you. You truly admitting your feelings. I'm in love with you. But some, for some of y'all, <laughs> there is a person, water sign energy, that you have love for, but you're not in love with this person. For some of y'all, you got a water sign energy that is your soulmate, especially if this person is a cancer or a Pisces. You want to give to the situation. You want to communicate. You want to save it. You want to balance the scale. For some of y'all, this is a very karmic time, baby. Some of you all are dealing with the Libra. And I feel like you've been waiting on this person to come back. You could be married to this person. Or have some type of family dynamic with this person. Maybe you had to work on yourself in order to manifest and attract this person. But here they come. And now they want to give you this solid offer. But it's only going to be after a tile moment. Possibly moving away from possibly an Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio. Possibly a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Some of y'all are really beating y'all self up, okay, about communicating with the fire sign. I feel like some of y'all are avoiding either giving secrets or receiving secrets. It's like, I just want to live in the illusion of what we have in order just to hold on. Someone feels like that, Sag. They'd rather live in an illusion instead of moving away from the past. Some of you guys just want to move away from the past, um, possibly with a fire sign. You want to move away from the past as far as how you deal with this person. You don't want to be defensive with this person. You need to be more optimistic that this person is not going to be defensive towards you. But some of you all, you're closing out karmic cycles and, have, and, 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 and being granted the opportunity to remove those blockages to move forward during this time. Some of you all, <laughs> some of you all, again, that tangible new beginning, some of you all have financial, just financially blessed energy around you during this time. Money looks damn good, Sag. Passion looks damn good. Some of y'all going to be having some real good sex between the 1st and 15th of October. <laughs> I ain't going to say what I want to say, but I might. It's, you know, it's all right. Y'all can shoot me an email or whatever. What? <laughs> Oh, we're going to keep it moving. Look, some of you guys, you want your Leo. Get out your damn head and go get your Leo. Or be receiving because hit his damn Leo come. They want to offer you some love. They want to offer you something solid and stable. Here you is fighting your damn self. Oh, no. Oh, no. We was cheating on each other in the past. I don't do that. <laughs> some of y'all could possibly be in your head about uh, communicating something karmic that has to do with an Aries. I feel like you want to take a leap, a leap of faith toward this person, but you fear, and because you're wanting to heal the situation, but I feel like you fear having yet another time moment. You fear this person completely cutting you out. The spirit is saying, be courageous, move forward, because there is a victory in the outcome. What it is that you're looking to work on to bring to fruition, baby, it's yours. It's just how you look at it. Are you going to accept it? You're going to run from it? You're going to be real with your damn self? Or are you going to reflect? Reflect. Communicate. Communicate effectively. Communicate lovingly in a healing manner with forgiveness. And be receptive. Sagittarius. Some of y'all got people trying to give to y'all, okay? Some of y'all have people trying to assist you during this time. Spirit is saying stop being prideful. Okay, you don't never know who God, who the universe, who they working through. Okay? So stay receptive. Alrighty? Receptivity, babes. New shit only.
Get out of them sad places and be more optimistic. You change. Are you the same person who you was last year? So some of y'all needed to be optimistic, a little bit more optimistic about either receiving truth or giving truth. Because it has to do with your spiritual and personal growth. That's going to bring you this financial growth as well. And some of y'all got a Scorpio in your life that is a financial blockage for you because this person is a taker. This has to do with transformation and you have to choose yourself. What you going to do, Sag? What you going to do? <laughs> this is what I have for you guys between the 1st and 15th of October. If it resonates, please feel free to leave me a comment. I love my comments. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. And if you need a personal reading, hit me up. That information again is below. Much love, much light, many blessings, much abundance. Namaste. Bye, babies.